to know God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Father Angel with the Orthodox Church. Welcome to the Gospel for October the 21st, 2021, according to St. Luke. And this report about him went throughout all Judea and all the surrounding region. Then the disciples of John reported to him concerning all these things. And John, calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to Jesus, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we need to look for another? When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we need to look for another? And at that very hour he cured many of infirmities, afflictions, and evil spirits. And to many blind he gave sight. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things you have seen and heard, that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he who is not offended because of me. When the messengers of John had departed, he began to speak to the multitudes concerning John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? But what did you go out to see? A man clothed in soft garments? Indeed those who are gorgeously appeal, apparelled, and live in luxury are in king's courts. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I say to you, and more than a prophet. This is he of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before your face, who will prepare <coughs> your way before you. For I say to you, among those born of women, there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, for he who is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. And when all the people heard him, even the tax collectors justified God's having been baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the will of God for themselves, not having been baptized by him. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. What a beautiful, beautiful gospel. Some time ago I was discussing with somebody whether who was the greatest holy man in all the world. And as the troparia or the precursor says, the Lord's testimony is sufficient for thee, O John the Baptist. Now, I entitled my reflection to know God, because even that who happens to be the greatest of all holy men of all the time was not able to recognize God in Jesus. He had doubts. Even as we read in the Gospel, how, according to John, he says, the one who sent me to baptize told me, he in whom the Holy Spirit rests, he is the one. And also, when he comes to be baptized, John answers him, Lord, I need to be baptized by you and you come to me. But yet, again today, who hear those words. Are you the one? Or we need to wait for another. Only with his disciples will the Lord reveal himself, telling them, Ego in me, I am. I am God. Only with them. But these were John the Baptist's disciples. And rather than saying yes or no, the Lord simply did what he was meant to do and told him. Tell John that the lepers are cleansed, that evil spirits are driven away, that the lame and maimed and everyone else is being um, healed, that the dead are resurrected. Who can do that? Only God. That there's the answer. And that is why I say it is so important for us to know God. To know God and even further to be known by God in the Semitic way. 
would be like receiving God inside ourselves. Inside ourselves. That's the mystery that we receive in Holy Communion. But not only then and there, because he did not show him that mystery, but he showed them something that was apparent. The blind see, the mute speak, they are being healed. When we ourselves are healed by God, we immediately recognize that and will never ever forget that. Then we realize that faith is not some ideology, it's not some academic belief, but it is simply the trust that we have in someone that we have met and we loved. Especially when we know that he is truthful, that he is faithful. For blessed is our God, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.